Hello, everyone. I am going to get into your business a little bit. But do you ever, maybe not so much in your business, but do you ever, let's say you are in a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. And let's say um, for whatever reason, it did not work out. So you quickly jump into another one then that relationship did not work out so you quickly jumped into another one and that relationship did not work out so you are constantly jumping from one relationship to the next 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 and let's say that you say well Every man or every woman I get just want to do this, just want to do that, just want to use me, just want to take my money, blah, 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 blah. If that is the case, why not stop jumping into relationships so much? You have been jumping into one relationship to the next for like very quickly for the last five or more years. And you say that it is all their fault. Now, if that is really true, which I don't think that can be true, but if that is really true, Let's say that you have a very bad habit in choosing the wrong woman or the wrong man. Wouldn't it make sense for you to stop and sit down and like, hey, let me just wait. Let me just, you know, let me give myself time to see why I continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. I think it is very easy to point at one person and be like, hey, it is your fault. It is their fault. I am doing everything right. I am saying everything right. There is no fault in me, but you have been probably in 50 or more relationships by now and it is all their fault slow down stop jumping into relationships so much well Kevin I don't want to be alone you know when I get alone I get very depressed you know like uh I start to get these evil thoughts and I start to cut myself and blah, 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 blah. Okay, then the issue is probably you then. The issue is probably you because if you can't stand to be by yourself and you start to get really depressed and start to lose your mind and start to behave unseemly, then the problem is probably you. In that case there, surely you should lay off the relationships for a while and see about yourself. How can you love other people if you can't love yourself? You have all these negative thoughts about yourself. How can you give love when you are not even giving yourself love? How would you know how to give love if you don't know how to love yourself? Well, Kevin, you know, I know how to cook and clean. And how can you show love? Love is more than cooking and cleaning. Love is more than giving a person money. I believe someone can hate you and give you money. How can you show love to another if you don't know how to love yourself? Honestly, please tell me. I may be wrong, but please tell me. Your problem is 
stay lay off of those relationships and check to see what is wrong with you it is not normal maybe it is normal in this very demonic world in this time of age but it is not normal to be changing boyfriends girlfriends every month or every two three months that is not normal having sex with a different person every week, every two or three months, and that is not normal. We should not have the, we should not have sex before marriage anyway. How many boyfriends, how many girlfriends have you had? You may be ashamed to even tell a person. Can you really sit down? I had a conversation with uh, someone some time back and uh, a person told me how many people they to say it in a nice way how many people did they sleep with i mean they told me how many people they slept with and told me uh that person told me they talked to some co-workers and some of them told that person how much how many people they slept with we have to look at ourselves hey what is wrong with me i continue to have this problem here yes i can easily take the focus off myself and say another person is at fault but how many years have you been doing that look at yourself what is wrong with me why am i continuing why am i continuing to have a particular problem why am i meeting these type of people or why am i continuing to have this issue you have to look within if that makes any sense if you truly want things to change if you really want to change you have to look at yourself what am i doing wrong why do i feel the need to be depressed and self-harm myself when I am alone? Why do I feel the need to yell and cuss and scream when I don't get my way? Why do I feel the need to scheme and manipulate and control in a very, very bad way when things are not going my way? I believe we need to stop justifying our wrong deeds yes you may have been rejected when you were younger yes you may have been abused yes bad things may happen to you but you can't lay you can't constantly lay on the bad things that happen to you and be like well I can say whatever I want. I can do whatever I want because I have been hurt. So because I have been hurt, I can place myself on a pedestal and make people guilty to get them to cater to me. That is wrong. Emotionally, manipulating people in a bad way is wrong i want you to take care of my needs but i don't really want to contribute to your life no 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 you cater to me you should buy me this you should do this for me you should do that for me you should do everything i tell you but when it comes down to you, I am, if anything, I am going to do very little. 
and that very little is going to benefit me somehow or that little I do for you is to manipulate you to do more for me. What type of personality do you really have? Hmm? What type of personality do you really have? Are you really looking at yourself or are you looking at people more? I think you are looking at people more. Do you really see yourself? I know it is very hard at times to see every bad thing we do, but are you really looking at yourself? And you may say, Kevin, well, I know that I am doing wrong, but to get my needs met, I have to do wrong. So, God made the world, and what is in the Bible is to help us to have a better life, but you are telling me that you have to go against the Bible to get your needs met, but somehow things should go your way and turn good for you even though you are doing evil. Does that make any sense at all? It doesn't. And this is one of the reasons why you are going to keep on going round and around and around in the same spot, not really advancing much. Years and years and years will pass by and you will still be in that hamster wheel going round and round, doing the same mistakes, wondering why, wondering why this and why that and why this, because you won't take responsibility of your actions. So quick to blame another. But you think you should advance in life while being that way. You are not going to advance being that way. You are not. You will be stagnant. If you do advance, it may be very little. How can I keep on making the same mistakes, but don't take responsibility, blaming another? So, if I know something is not going to work if I do it in a particular way, how in the world will it work if I try it a second time, a third time, a tenth time, a twentieth time, a fifty-eighth time? How is it really going to work? I think some of us are really delusional. You can see what is happening, but you want to lie. Be hmm. I believe many of us can see what is going, it, what is happening, but some some of us like to lie to ourselves because to really accept the truth of how we really are will make us feel worse. So we may lie to ourselves, Make you know, trying to fool ourselves into thinking that we are more or better than how we really are. So even though we may know we are doing wrong, we may have an image of ourselves in our mind that we aren't. Delusional. So, okay, you know, I am so great. I am so amazing. I am not responsible for the bad things that are happening in my life. So I'm going to continue to act in this destructive way, but I am going to blame another so I can say, well, I did not advance much in this life because of Joey and Tommy and Brittany and Keisha and this person and that person. So every time when a person comes to me asking me, you know, why haven't you advanced more? Why haven't you done this? 
I can just blame another person. Well, you know, my ex or my cousin or my aunt held me back. No. <laughs> but in truth, I believe you already know it is you. But you are purposely lying to yourself because accepting the truth will make you feel bad. And you will know that if you choose to not change, it is on you. But it is more comfortable to blame another person. Am I speaking about you? What I am saying now, is this true about you? If it is, change. Take steps into, change, into changing. You don't have to stay the way you are. You really don't. You really don't. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.